In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reference different plugins header files inside of your code. Because right now, if you're trying to reference a plugin, you are probably getting the error that you can't open the source file, despite the fact that you've triple checked your sources and know that the source file is right. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be running with the cable component. The first thing to check is, of course, that you have the right include. Looking at the documentation, we can see that this include directly matches what I tried to put in my code. This is all well and good, but in order to remove this error, we need to do a lot of project setup. The first thing we're going to do is verify that we have the proper file. Sometimes across engine versions, things change and Unreal is a little slow to update their documentation. To do this, I'm going to open up a blueprint. Inside of the blueprint, I'm going to add the component that I'm after. In this case, this is the cable component. We can see here that I now have a cable attached to my capsule component. And if I right click on this cable component, I'm able to hit open cable component .h. That is going to open the header file that directly relates to what we're trying to use. And you'll notice that this matches what I showed earlier. So we know by this that our cable actually exists and we have the header file for it somewhere. So why are we getting an error inside of our main project when we're trying to reference it? Well, simply put, we haven't told Unreal to look for this folders or this plugins files. So we're gonna set that up now. Before you proceed, I'm going to recommend very strongly that you remove every single reference to the file that you're about to add before you save and close everything because failure to do so might cause you major issues if you screw up some of the steps that we're about to go through. So with the Unreal Engine project closed, we're now gonna go ahead and do step one, which is figure out where our cable component is. Uh, since you've opened up your file inside of your solution, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna right click on the file in question, and then we can hit this open containing folder button. Doing so is going to open up the file path for this property. From there, you can close out of your code editor because we're not going to need it. And I'm going to try and keep my screen as clean as possible. So now we're going to go through this new hierarchy that we have just opened until we get to the source. And we have this cable component U plugin file. We're going to need to reference this U plugin file so that we can get a very particular piece of information from it. So let's open that up with notepad. Now inside of this U plugin file, you are going to see a modules section. You want to take note of the module name for use in future steps. Since I have plenty of screen real estate, I'm just gonna move this over here so that we can continue on to the next step. The next thing for you to do is to go into your Unreal Engine project and find that inside of your file explorer. You'll have a ton of different files here, but the file that we need to go and access is the source file. The source file is where all of the C++ stuff is stored. Inside of the source folder, you're gonna have another folder that you need to access that's just going to share your project's name. And then in this folder is a reference to all of your different C++ files, both header files and regular C++ files. At the top of this, there is going to be a source file that ends in .build.cs. We're going to open that up in a different notepad. Inside of this build.cs file, you are going to see a public dependency module names. This directly influences what header files are going to be referenceable by your project. In this case, we can see that we have access to core files, core object files, engine files, input core files and enhanced input files by default. We are going to need to add our cable component plugin to this list to be able to use it. To do that, we're gonna to go to the front of this array and we're gonna add that module name that we found previously. So we're gonna add in that cable component, which is of course the module name we found previously, and we're gonna add that to our list. Now it's very important that you remember to make a comma in between your cable component that you've just added and core, which would have been the old first member of that list. After you've successfully added the cable component, you're going to save your build.cs file. Now next, I'm gonna need you to go and right click on your Unreal Engine project file. Right clicking on that file should bring up a list that has the generate Visual Studio project files. This is going to go and create a new reference using that build file that we just edited. Now. If you left your Visual Studio open, it's going to ask you to reload the entire environment because it just made some changes. But otherwise, you're good to open up your solution one more time. And now when we go to add in our include of the cable component, you will see we don't get any errors because now we have successfully added the cable component plugin to be referenceable by our project. I hope this helps you use all of the plugins that you want to have reference to inside of your project and use them in C++. I'm making this in hopes that this will save someone a lot of time that I ended up wasting researching and figuring out what the heck is going on here. Subscribe if you're new and happy coding. We will see you in the next video.